Hey, why did that guy just scream and run through our house? What's going on over here? Ah! Oh, what's going on? Ah! Like, okay, we went back to look. It's like, are the zombies still there? Are you guys running from the zombies? I heard screaming. Is it the zombies coming? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go look out. Oh, they're still here! Oh, no! Hey there, strangers! My name's Neos, and welcome back once again to the Spooktacular, and more importantly, welcome back once again to Zombie Night Terror! It has been a while since we've played everyone's favorite Zombie Lemming strategy game. Also, welcome back to Strategy Sundays. It's doing a lot of things today. This right here actually was the, the game I was originally planning on starting uh, our 2024 Spooktacular with, but it didn't fall on a Sunday. I was like, you know what? This is a strategy game. Let's go with that. Why not? So, uh, hey, for those of you who don't remember this, according to Steam, after all the videos we did, I played for 24 hours. Wow. <laughs> this is quite a bit for just a little strategy game. I like it a lot. But this is basically a game in which you play as uh, as the zombie infection trying to take over the world and the universe eventually, which is kind of insane. You should go to space. This game is great! If you haven't seen it, link, link to it somewhere, you can find it, whatever. Uh, but it's super good, and I wanted to play it again. So, uh, since we played through all of the actual, like, developer-made levels, I went through the community workshop and found some interesting-looking ones. And Split City caught my attention. It seems really cool, it's got quite a few levels to it, it's a whole campaign, which is the, the cops versus the criminals have split the city in twain. And then the, the zombies are gonna go in here and just ruin everything by making a third faction which will destroy everything. So what do you say for this Halloween? We save the city by turning everyone to our side, the undead side. So here we go, so alive once again. Here we go. So objective, kill three people and make four zombies escape the cemetery. Challenge, smart begging, uh, find the alternative route out of the cemetery's underground. That's cool. This again is a, a community made level. Got stuff like that? I didn't know. That's super neat. So here we go. Let's find our way out of here. Oh, alive once again. I think you should just auto go up the, the stove. Nope, no, we gotta get out further. So again, for those of you who don't know, this is basically, oh wow, we can't zoom in or out very far. It's just, Zombie Lemmings! I can't control these guys directly. I can give them general directions of what to do. So I go up the stairs. I have to now, it's also usually not zoomed in this far. It looks like a mobile game right now. Uh, we gotta break through this wall, otherwise I'll just bounce off. So shatter that door! And then up the stairs. I said we've gotta fight, make more zombies, so we're gonna make our way somewhere. This is a little tutorial area, which I believe we can speed up time. Yes, we can. So we don't, oh no! Uh oh. How do I fix that? Hold on, oh, I gotta break this? What does this do? Alright, let's get down there and break that. Cause Slamzo, what do you do? Uh, d uh, drops a box. Sure, why not? That made sense. Don't worry about it. Also, I don't want him to walk into this fire. He's in a fire. What is that? Nope, you're fine. Okay. I was worried for a second there. Don't know what's going on. That's fine. Some of these just auto... I can't, like, tell you to go up. You just go. Alright, what does that do? That was a door. Alright. So let's break through this barricade and head on into the city. So a little tutorial section just to teach us how to play again. Even though you're downloading user-made maps. So, you know. So here's the, I guess that was the, 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 the prologue. That's, he just came from underground. There was one zombie that survived the zombie apocalypse. Now we're into the proper game. So let's go ahead and pause time here and see what we've got to do. So. We need to make three zombies and kill 40. There's only one dude here. Interesting. Here's a little cactus or something. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Well, let's move our way forward and see what we can find around here. So we're probably gonna drop down to this water. We'll send ourselves down here. And there's just a bunch of skulls down here. Apparently there's a crypt in the middle of this city. Where are we? Is, is this um, Louisiana? We in Louisiana. That's, that's not a Louisiana accent. <laughs> I can't do the Louisiana accent because you can't understand it. All right. So we're just going to go this way. Let's see where we have to go. So I don't know. Onward, zombie. Yeah, smash through that door. Did you fall through that one? No. Okay, there's going to be something up here. That's the only other place we have to go. So, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crumb. <laughs> crap, crumb. We probably want to do something to that, I assume. It's the only other thing we can interact with. Because if we go back up here, yeah, there's nothing there. All right, go on, zombie. I can't speed you up any faster. We're already wasting time. Let's get up there. 
All right, so I'm assuming, oh, this is gonna be heavy enough to break through that and then break through that. Oh, okay, I see. I see what you're doing here. You're playing with physics in our zombie puzzle game. <laughs> All right, cool. I like where this is going. Interesting. All right, go this way. Break through here. This for, uh oh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> this first section is gonna be a little slow. Because it's, it, we're doing the actual, like, it's kind of cool when you have user-made levels. Also, this just looks really nice. And look, look at the background! Look at the pixelated background, everybody! <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a bingo card of me just saying things a lot. Um, but it's kind of cool when, like, they treat it like their own actual, like, campaign. And it's just like, okay, well, here's your easy tutorial level, and we'll slowly ramp up to it. Not just the insane over-the-top levels that most people tend to do. All right, so what we want to do, what is over here? Nothing. Is he about to fall through the floor? Yes. Okay, so he goes, I don't want him to go up there because I assume that's death right there. So what we're going to do instead is have him bounce off this, go up here. Don't do have to break the, uh, <laughs> I can't zoom in far enough to see down there. There we go. So break through that, bounce off, up, up, break through here, break this, which I assume will drop this. Yeah, there we go. Bounce off, up and over. It's almost like I've played this game for a full day, according to Steam. Smashy, smashy, they'll drop you. Yeah! We'll smash through this door, we'll go up here. Um, uh, hopefully I'll bounce off of that, go back this way, smash that door, smash that door, and then smash this guy. But then not like that. But maybe. I don't know. I don't know what he's into. Hopefully not. Like, well, you know what's a zombie? Never mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Anyway. Onward. I've got to take over the city. This is my city now. The city of the undead. Are you ready? Oh no, here we go. Who was that? Oh no. Ah! <laughs> well, so much for you. Now we've got two zombies. This one has, is he different looking? I can't, now they're the exact same zombie, okay. It's, oh, and there's, oh, there's two guys right there. Hopefully we're just gonna overwhelm them. I don't know. I feel bad doing this all in fast forward, but I know this first part is very basic, so. So we gotta get four, we gotta eat three dudes, make four zombies, so it's almost, it's showing you how this works, and there's no way to screw this up, because they're looking the wrong way. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Larry and Jerry, you're our zombie bros now, let's go! And away into the city. So as you can see, uh, this is how the zombie apocalypse starts. One zombie raises from the dead, and starts in an area where no one's paying attention. We, we failed somehow. <laughs> failed the challenge, I already forgot what it was, doesn't matter. And it just slowly grows into an unstoppable problem. We started off as case zero. Oh yeah, get this thing! Alright, so, one of the big things about this, much like, you know, the lemming sort of uh, analogy there, uh, we have mutators. Allow us to do things. You might have noticed all the stuff down here. I'm gonna say this, we haven't done a video on this game in like a year or so. So there's people who probably don't know what's going on. So these down here, you probably were curious about this, allows us to change things. So we're gonna make an Overlord is a super zombie. You control the movement of other zombies and make him into a wall. So just do that and go And it's disgusting, but it makes it so that they can't fall into this hole. So they'll go up here. But that means I also need to stop them from falling off of here, just wandering off. So we'll make a second Overlord facing that way. There we go. They're so handsome and disgusting. And that's just another tutorial section. So there you go. Just zoop away. And away we go, my zombies. That's kind of cool. Just show you how to do stuff. Split city, wilderness. Leave the forest and kill everyone. Uh, challenge, low on quantity. Uh, use a maximum of four overlords. All right, cool. So there's our challenge up there, which we have not done yet. So we're gonna have to put an overlord here, obviously. And then I'll bounce off of that, go up here and start taking out some dudes. Unfortunately, do any of these dudes have guns? No, and this, is this guy just screaming? Oh, they're tied, oh right, we're the criminal underworld. I forgot the whole plot. <laughs> so we're gonna take down the criminal underworld. And then we're gonna race to the upper world and take down the officials that were trying to stop the criminals. So, because, shut up. <laughs> no one's a good guy here. They're all, they're all just meat to the zombie machine. You gotta take them all down. You gonna see me up there? Nope, nope, you can't, that guy has a gun. I think he has a shoddy. All right, let's just slow this down so we can watch it all happen in real time. Knock, knock, your local zombie delivery service is here. Oh, no, why was it sitting next to a door? Oh. Okay, don't break through this yet, or do I? 
See, I want to go... We gotta take that guy out. Hopefully they won't just hop over that. They might. I don't know. But let's, uh, let's go and get this guy before we wander that way so we can get everybody. Yes! Delicious. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Knock, knock. It's me, the zombie man. Your pizza's here. Oh, my pizza. Oh, no. Ah, it's not a pizza at all. Okay, they're gonna jump over that. Uh, is I gonna kill them? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, you, you're, a, you're an overlord now. <laughs> oh, no. No, turn around. Go back the other way. It's my one remaining zombie now. Also, this down here, DNA, this is how much it costs to do stuff when you eat people or you pick up certain things, it causes you to get more uh, DNA points. Okay, so I messed that up. Uh, are you- do you have a gun? Hopefully you don't, because otherwise you're overwhelming. Hello! I'm here- oh yeah, get out of here! I'm here to save you! Oh, thank you, Mr. Zombie! Just- ah! I'm just removing your bonds and also biting you on the neck. Both of these things can be true. Okay, so we can't break through this. That guy is gonna have to deal- or be dealt with later. Let's break through here. And hopefully, we'll be too fat and smash through this, because I don't know how else to get through here. Hello? Yeah, there we go. Now let's try to break this. This person put these things way too low. I can't zoom and see, like, there's buttons down here. There we go. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, you're now an overlord. You're going to tell everyone to go that way. Oh, why? So I bet if I didn't tell them to go up there, that's probably going to be the fifth one, because we only need to use four overlords for this challenge. So I probably messed it up by doing that. Oh well, let's go! Get away from the electricity, go! Go this way, you stupid idiots! I never noticed he had his jiggly butt down here. Oh wow. <laughs> anyway. So, two remaining zombies. It's Jerry and Gerald, or whatever I named you, I don't remember. So this, it looks like that one guy survived. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd that one guy go? The guy that was right here. Huh. I mean, he can't climb over stuff, unless he like just ran off. Is it him? No, that's my zombies. I don't know, maybe he actually got away. That would be just the worst. He also didn't bother radioing to any of his friends. It's almost like the criminal underworld has very, very low, um... Uh, you know that word I'm looking for? Loyalty. That's it. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, I'm just gonna leave now. You're sucking by. Alright, so let's see. Hopefully I clicked the right guy. I need the one that's in front. Okay, so you, 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 oh, oh, yeah. So not that one, that one. Now tell him to turn around. Ha! Huh. Oh, I thought he was going through him for a second. <laughs> that would have been the worst. All right. Does this speed up too? I think it does. So we couldn't just like fast forward and get a better time. Hopefully, uh, so we're on a date, baby. It's a, it's a pretty hot day. That's just a torch. That's not, this isn't hot at all. Oh, I don't, I say the hot, hot torch pretty hot. Welcome. Do y'all need somewhere to hide from the rain? Oh, he's very friendly. Now die. Ah, I should have hit for the rain too. Oh no, if only I could open this door! Oh, I'm just a damsel in- oh, Just a moron in distress. Alright. And I think that is gonna do this. So we go up here, we'll have to put down an overlord here. How many does that make? Let's see, one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, there was five, I was right! If I hadn't been greedy and going for that guy, we would've gotten our secret challenge. That's fine. I don't even want this secret challenge. Yes, I do. Let's see if we can get through the whole thing without uh, succeeding a single challenge. That's our new challenge. <laughs> and away! Go, my zombies! Go, my stupids! There we go. There, there, we, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. Number of zombies it takes to exit the- I need at least three zombies! Oh, crap! <laughs> well, it looks like I gotta restart this now. Cool. I, I'll do- I'll be right back. Oh, at least I know where that guy goes. He just gets in the car and sits there. Okay, cool. And... Uh, hello? Wait, do I have to... Wait, do I have to kill everyone too? I have to... Oh, I have to kill them and do... Oh, you... You didn't tell me that! Ah, oh, not getting away from me this time. Down you go. Oh no! A zombie! How terrible! Are you... Are you serious? Are you, are you serious? Are you serious? I don't have any zombies to go back up there now! You suck! Just gonna send two. Two should be enough to do it this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, how did you- No! Come on, this is garbage! It's fine, just- just do the thing. Okay, <laughs> bother with a stupid challenge. Just kill this jerk bag. Get him! There you go, he's dead now! We've- we've saved the day, holy crap. And... There we go! Embarrassingly enough, that took me like seven tries. But- but that seventh one... That one we- that was good! <laughs> Still failed the side challenge. That one guy up there was a pain in the butt, don't worry about it, I don't care anymore. Onward to level- 
three <laughs> or four? That took so long. Hey, Chief, I've seen something strange in the forest hideout. And what would that be? Some maniacs with a thirst for blood. They killed everyone except for my squad except for me. So what, you've got a gun? I'll warn everyone about them and now stop wasting time. Wow, that was so fast. Y yes, sir, you already hung up. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's still the criminals. It's where they're like, yes, sir, my squad, and, you know, whatever. Sounds very, uh, you know, like the police or military or something. Anyway, so over here, we've got ourselves a new power that we're going to have to get. And this will probably, I assume, do something here. Let's go ahead and break through here. Grab this. Oh, this, uh, okay, that closes that off. So now the ability to immolate. So sacrifice a zombie to get more DNA. So we'll get four DNA out of this zombie. It costs how much to make him? Uh, I don't know. It's not telling me. Either way, there we go. So that take, maybe it takes the one, it takes one just to do that. Okay, cool. But that way we can get them out of the way. And also if we have way too many zombies just sitting somewhere, we can emulate them and get the bio energy back. Not really sure how that works, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Anyway, there's just a new tutorial area. Onward to level three. So, Split City downtown. Kill ten humans and dominate the criminal hideout by killing the two armed fools inside of it. So for, uh, yeah, whatever. Challenge. Cops? Who needs them? Kill these five criminals. I thought we were killing ten. Well, like, ten humans. Like, just, that guy's not a criminal. He's just here. Why do I have to be part of this? Oh, okay. Come on, man. Stop crying. We won't kill you if you just give us the money. How'd you get them all the way into your hideout without having that done already? So this right here. Contamination transform human into a zombie, but uh, some humans are immune. Uh, this way we can just infect and be like, Bloof, and just turn somebody into a zombie. So this guy over here is probably gonna just beat these zombies to death because he's just a super huge badass. It's that simple. So this guy's got the gun, which means we should probably transform him. Or we transform this hobo back here. What if we just take over everyone like at the end of the level and just go back? <laughs> we couldn't because we have to get through that. That would be funny though. All right, what do you say we just take over this guy right here? It's like, oh no, my gun has become totally worth it. Ah! You can just run away this whole time. It's like, hey, wait, come back here. Can you come back here, give me your money. Stop right there. Oh, they are actually totally <laughs> He was running away just, okay. There he goes. You look just like that guy. Is this guy secretly a zombie? A zombie's invaded the hideout. Okay, now give me your money. Ah! Give me the money. Ah! Knock, knock. Hey, buddy, are you here to help him give, give me the money? Ah! And that's what you get. This will open this door, I assume, and turn off all the lights for some reason. Did it open that door? No, that guy's just going to get away. Anyway, so we could have infected that guy just knocking through the door. Hey, what's going on around here? Oh, you look like friends. Ah! I was going to share my booze with you, but instead I shared my blood. Hey, why did that guy just scream and run through our house? What's going on over here? Ah! Oh, what's going on? Ah! Like, okay, we went back to look. It's like, are the zombies still there? Are you guys running from the zombies? I heard screaming. Is it the zombies coming? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go look out. Oh, they're still here! Oh no! Disco, disco, man! I was just going. Ah! Oh, we're gonna take over all these, and then we've got nothing to do here because we can't do anything with this. All right, so I guess we'll just have to uh, grab our infectinator. Okay, which one of you has the gun? I think it's that one. This guy's just like, hey, how's it going? You want some ice cream? I've got a gun! I've got ice cream. Oh, it's this fair. We're even. All right, this guy right here has something, though. Okay, so we can't get through that. I wonder if I should take over this guy and just go like, oh, but he'd fall in this hole. If you take over that guy, you could go down here and get them, and then... Or if we go up this way, they're going to get shot. Ooh, maybe I figured that out. So we have the ability to still do this. So take over that guy, and then we'll bounce him back. So how many zombies do we have to save? Uh, kill number of humans... Number of targets killed. Oh, so it's those two guys. Uh, it doesn't say we have a set number of zombies to get out of here. I mean, we have to at least get one. I'm gonna infect you. I think that's the plan. Hopefully this guy's not looking. Don't look, you're not looking! I'm on the phone with my wife, telling her about how I- I'm hearing a lot of screaming, but that's totally normal with this job! You know, cause I'm a horrible, disgusting murderer with a gun! Oh no! No, don't shoot my gun! Oh. I needed that. I needed that guy. Well... Uh... I guess I'll be back. I've got all these zombies and nothing to do with them because we can't... Like, later you can throw people, but I can't, uh, I can't explode anybody either. I'll be back! Okay, so it turns out if you're fast-forwarding, you get here in about 45 seconds. <laughs> so let's figure this out now. All right, so this guy and this guy. So if we break through there, I'm hoping... See, what does this do? 
It doesn't tell me, like in the uh, base game, it has like a little line that tells you what it goes to. Maybe it's for this door. I gotta get through these two dudes, but how do I get them? We're just gonna take over like these guys and see what happens. So that guy first, because I think he might have the weapon. This guy's just gonna scream, run in corner like a coward. Oh, 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 that's gonna break through that. It's gonna blow this up. Oh no, what's going on? Is that some sort of zombie? I was just talking, I was trying to sell you ice cream. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if we'd done that faster, we wouldn't have to wait for all these guys to turn around. Uh, well, you can turn around, right? Hey, they're gonna hit the, <laughs> this guy's just gonna survive. He has no idea. He just beat up two zombies, and it's just like, Anyway, I'm just gonna go back to my, uh, my shift and twirl around my little baton. That's fine. <laughs> so I can tell anybody. Not tell anybody. Maybe you thought they were just a couple of weird drug users, I don't know. He's like, nope, just a normal day. This is, you know, the zombie apocalypse happened a while back. I survived, and we're fine. Is it, is it another town? Another universe? Or something? What are you selling? I mean, it looks like... It's either ice cream or, uh, some sort of... I mean, he's got the side thingy that flips open. So probably. Maybe they're selling tacos. I don't know. So let's break through here. She'll open that, and then we'll have a bunch of zombies to come up here with. Which I'm assuming is what we need to do. We just have to overwhelm them with numbers. And hopefully that works. What happened to the lights? Oh, they're distracted now. <laughs> what happened to the light? The lights weren't off yet. Uh, sir, do you have some sort of extrasensory perception? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh Get him! Get by his butt! Yeah! Put him around the foot! Alright, so you turn everyone around, and then my horde attack. Oh no, don't worry, I'll hold them off with my- You di didn't even notice! Did I just grab the wrong guy the first time? This is garbage- Oh, they're just stuck here now. Didn't even open that. The zombies just live here now, we're fine. The, the day has been saved by this door. <laughs> they can't get past it, apparently. Downtown, Split City. Hey, we did the thing because we ate those two guys. Wait, so how would that work out? Don't I have to kill them? Exactly three minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Whatever. Hey, what's going on with the, with the, with the cop police? Police cops. Uh, here's team number five contacting base from downtown. We're close to suspicious location number three. We'll invade now. It's a weird, you don't say you'll invade. We're invading. Come on, let's go invade. <laughs> There seems to be a lot of goo everywhere. Hmm. Here's team five again. We've not found any criminals inside the building, but we found their storage. I repeat, we found their storage. Now let's not look into the building. So oh, that's this is how we got out. <laughs> the police just broke their way in. Why didn't they change into zombies? I have questions. Hello. They broke in. It's like there's supposed to be criminals in here, but I guess it's fine. Let's just look through the doorway we came through and get bitten in the butt. All right, so let's say sewer invasion. Invade the house through the sewer system and make three zombies escape. Challenge, uh, complete success. Kill everyone. All righty. Ah! All right, so guy with gun. Uh, we're gonna have to break that at some point, so we'll have to ricochet ourselves off of here, but let's get this guy first. Hello? Oh, it's not a guy with a gun. What's the janitor doing in the sewers? What are you doing down here? Is that a, a, a metal detector? Ah! I was just looking for quarters. All right. Turn you around. All right, everybody, head back that way. Break that thing. Turn off this electrified door that exists for some reason. You know you're in a bad part of the city when you go underground and there's a door that's just totally electrified <laughs> and will just uh, fry you the moment you touch it. Not an electric fence. It's not marked. It's just a door that also you can turn it off inside of the air. That doesn't matter. Don't put the controls outside of the door. They'll never guess that's coming. <laughs> break that. Alright, another janitor man. So we have to this is probably a hole we have to break this to get through there. What are you what are you hammering on the space? Okay, so we're gonna have to go this way, ricochet them up here, which that will probably activate that, which will then activate that. <laughs> or something like that, because this seems like a hole. I'm assuming that's a hole. A whole lot of something. Break through here. Excuse me, coming through, thank you. Oh, there goes a little rat. You see the little rat? He's made like five pixels. Alright. Need the ratty! Alright, and ricochet! Back that way, not into the hole with you. Hello, we're here to to ask you, we're here to inspect your job. The inspectors are here, and they mean business, and you've done a poor job, Mr. Man. And blit. Goodbye. Uh, that did not open that, in fact. I just did this? Do I have to come back up here? 
Oh, wait, we have to invade the house, so we have to get through all of this first. That's crazy. So, okay, you guys go that way. We'll incinerate you. Oh, no, I did my job too well. Bleh. I've been replaced by AI. <laughs> oh, no. I don't, no. No purpose to being here anymore. So go down here, shatter through this, shatter through this. Uh, neither of these guys have a gun. That guy's just eating a Snickers bar. It's like, mmm, delicious. I love being in the poop-smelling sewers eating my candy bar. That's not a candy bar. <laughs> Where'd you get a candy bar? I found it floating in the water. Oh, no. Oh, stop it. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna stop talking about that guy eating a poop. All right, so we're gonna do... What? How do I get through here? Unless that did open that, and I can't tell because of how... Ah, oh, crap. If that's the case, we'll send these guys back up here. <laughs> and they'll go across. There you go. Yeah, I guess it, they kind of guessed that, because that wasn't set to go down. Oh, no, go forward. And then break that, if you can get in there. That'd be fine. At least we're fast-forwarding, so we should be fine. And... I thought that door was still down. My bad. That'll open that... No. Wait, how do... Oh, man. It's killing one of these guys. He's like, hey, you should open that door. Okay, we'll open the door now. Or maybe we're going to fall through the floor. It's one of these things. I have no idea. Anyway, this away. Down into the pit. Actually, we got to do something with this. Oh, crap. Do something with that. This is electrified water. Dude, we're going to fall through something somewhere. I don't know where or what. We'll, we'll figure it out eventually, I assume. There's only so many things we can do in this area. All right, here we go. Water's electrified, so I don't want to go down there yet. Oh, no! Oh, no, don't do it! Oh! oh. Well, crap. No, they're fine. They're totally fine. You just, this water is totally not... It's only right there. The situation down here is really awful right now. Stay out! Who are you talking to? You guess on his, uh... His radio phone? His radio? <laughs> I mean, cell phones are technically radios. Then what should I do? Enjoy our little break. Sure. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, some zombies just showed up, but they fell down a hole, so let's go back to eating my Snickers. That's not a Snickers! <laughs> anyway, let's go through. I like this wasp. This is very unconductive water. I don't know what this is, but it's not what you think it is. I like when they run, it's like the little like, Oh no! I hope the zombie doesn't bite me all the blood! Alright, so how do I do this? So get rid of them. Blah blah! Did I open that? No. Uh, how do I get through? Oh, that door's just- This door's open, the other one wasn't. Alright, now this'll make the other one open. Yeah! 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 And now I've got Explodo. Oh, this'll let me go back up. Cool. So I guess I can send this one guy back. And the rest of them, thankfully, didn't fall down here. So we'll send everybody else back up where we were. And then... We can break this. I guess I'll turn on a vent that way. And then we can blow up this. And that's what we're gonna do! I have not played this, as has been obvious from me failing that uh, second mission like seven times. Uh, but you can, you, once you know where the pieces are, you can kind of put it together. Whee! <laughs> like he just flies back up there. It's great. All right. So let's activate this, I assume. It's, I mean, we didn't see a thing there. It's just going to be here. Here's just a vent. Uh oh, don't don't go that way. Oh, oh I thought he was going to just fall in that hole. How did you not go? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, fine. So. We now have the ability to make our dudes explode. Here's the radius which they will explode. Uh, and just for the fun of it, I feel like showing this. So if we were to do this and change you into an overlord, now his radius is much larger, which may send our dudes up to the ceiling. Let's find out. Ah, yeah! <laughs> he's launched him up there. Hello, I'm here now. I guess that's what we have to do, because otherwise he's not going to be up here. All right, so let's just, uh, just send him back and forth. Get rid of that. We get everybody, which includes that guy and Disco Man and Lady. Hey, is a zombie still? Ah, oh, zombie still here! <laughs> it's the stupidest. Hi. Okay, he's got no weapon. Do this and this. Yeah, get him. Mm, delicious. Kill everyone. That was the object. Oh, Div. There's another destructible floor. How do I get in that room? I don't think you can blow up this. Guy. Some doors you can blow up. Let's find out. Is this one of them? Hello. Knock, knock. Pizza delivery! Oh, my pizza's finally here! I'm gonna disco dance! Oh, no! You really should've watered your plant. You deserve this for letting your plant die. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. And away we go! Our zombies have survived. Oh, we gotta blow through this door. And away we go! <laughs> Once the zombies eventually turn around. 
There we go. So we got five zombies out of here. I mean, I could explode these and send them up there eventually, but you know, don't, don't worry about it. Like, this guy's just now getting back up here. Hey guys, did I miss anything? You missed the entire escape. Oh man! But I was the guy who went down there hit the button! There we go. Level complete. Let's see, and then we did the thing there. Cool, I don't know what level we're up to. I should probably back out and check real fast, after we hear this. So anyway, a lot of crap just happened. Uh, here's Team 3-1. We found one of their locations. We presume more than 30 people inside, including hostages. We'll keep them locked down as long as we can until we get reinforcements. Oh, you let me play in time to read that one. Not the conversation earlier, though. All right, cool. So we built this tiny barricade, and we put landmines in front of the door. You guys know the drill. Don't let the criminals or any suspects escape. Put down more landmines. Put down more landmines. <laughs> All right, uh... Bombastic combat. Kill 30 humans, but spare Team 3-1. Really? We want to spare them? But they're humans. Uh, reach at least 20 uh, zombies and kill the whole Team 3-2. Three, uh, three, huh. Before we do that, I want to see what level we're up to. This is, we've been at this for quite a while, so this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get through this one, and then I think we might actually call that. If you guys want to see the rest of this, let me know. Because uh, I think that would be fun to see more. Uh, but, you know, we, this otherwise it's going to be like a two-hour video. Because these are going to get more difficult as we go. But hey, Zombie Night Terror's back, baby! Love it. Such a fun game. And this is a good, like, this is a well-made campaign. So good job, creator person. Uh, it's uh, the question time. I was reading that. <laughs> Alright, cool. No, he's going to break through the door. The, he's hitting the door. The guy's just holding the door. Like, no. No coming in here. <laughs> It's just a question of time. For the good. You two can't hide forever. Come on out. I should probably start there. So I get to just infect at random and decide where I want. So this is probably team whatever. Which one's team which one? This is probably the other team. So if I infect this side and break through here, that guy's got. Is that guy with a gun? Or no, he's just got a bat, but that still took down a guy last time. Maybe we should start up here. Break our way through here like this. Oh, this guy's got a gun. So we can start him and then go this, 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 and then down here and infect all these. But let's start there. You two can't hide forever. Maybe they can. Maybe they should. They should stay. It's just a question of time. Now, don't, don't turn around. You're not looking. He's not looking. No, no, he's looking. No, stop. Lo ah! <laughs> There's a chance that was the wrong choice. <laughs> Why did you hear the guy just be like, I'm a zombie now? Oh, come on, man. Wait, I can't. Oh, I have to watch this every time. Yep, zoom past it. So maybe we should just start on team whatever. These guys all have weapons too. If I start with one low little zombie, I gotta overwhelm them. That guy's got a gun though. Turn around. He's not turning around. So where should I start? With you two, maybe? If they're looking that way, maybe. Yeah, I should start with you two. All right. I'll start with, uh, Batman. But not Batman, but Batman. Ugh, I'm feeling kinda weird. Sounds like I get stung by some sort of zombie bee. Oh no! Hey, you get stung by a oh, zombie bee! Not gonna tell anybody. <laughs> oh, I thought she was gonna run in there like the door is locked. She just runs through the door, that'd be great. Don't look. You're not looking. Oh man, I should've gone down, shouldn't I? Let's find out. Don't turn around. No! My poor zombie! Oh no! <laughs> All right, let's try again. It's just a question of figuring out where's the best place to start. I guess I could do these two, but I feel like he's going to take them out. Well, let's try there. That was my original plan anyway. It's just a question of time. I'm waiting for her to just run out. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're so much going to rock in a hard place in the zombie. Uh. All right. And here we go. Oh, here we go. You're too effective, sir. You're the the hero of the criminals. <laughs> okay, so who is not gonna cause a problem? Get these two dudes and go that way, maybe? But, mm, but then I can't get through this door, but I can infect someone else, but I'll have more points. I don't know. Uh, I'll start on this guy. This poor lonely guy's gonna get that guy from it. Yeah, then we'll do that. You won't see- you'll never see it coming! He's right behind you. Hey, what's going on? You seem to burst out of your bonds and also your coughing on everything. Oh no! Run away- no! No, come back! Don't- that guy's got a gun, though! Oh, okay, he left. And so did she- but she's- wait! She was your hostage! How did she get away? That doesn't- what? <laughs> oh, come on! He's just gonna go up here and get beaten up by this guy. Here we go, go get beat up by- or bite, bite him on the shin! Bite him on the foot! Get him! Ah, my foot! Okay, cool. 
Um, two zombies can't get through. Oh, no. That was the wrong choice again. Nope, because there's going to go in here and get bitten. Uh, and I also can't sync them up. They're just going to go back and forth. <laughs> yep, just going to turn turn around. Ow, and ow, 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 ow. You just shot him. <laughs> Garbage. Fine, let's just try you. Guys back here, maybe? Just, but this guy's looking this way. Fine, we're going to start with team whatever two. Uh, the zombie, yeah. uh, that's a pretty good impression of a zombie, Harold. But anyway, oh no! I'm gonna make you him your zombie impression too. Oh, uh, that looks like a like an aug. I don't know. That seems very effective. The, an automatic weapon is very effective on zombies. They're very slow. Uh, I can't figure this out. Okay, so that guy. If I start here and go that way, then I'll have a bunch of zombos. Uh, you can't do anything. Maybe if I start on this side instead. Like this guy, and then like he'll be trapped and this guy will grab him, but then there's a door right there, so that doesn't work. But I get to get the explosion, but then all this is gonna happen. Oh, but I can turn one of them around and then explode this, and then I would have nobody. Um, I'll start with you, can't get through that. If I start up here, uh, the, they have nowhere to go except falling off of there and dying. Uh, if I start down here, I'll just get another one of those, that's pointless. Uh, with you? Or that guy? Because then this guy will run that way, but he may go through that door and then I'll be stuck. There's a lot of people with weapons here. This seems like a problem. I'll, I'll start with you. I'll start with you. But these guys have weapons. Screw it. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just try things. No, don't turn around. Look the other way. He's all, this guy's all alert and stuff. I hate it. No, stop looking. Don't look. Don't look at me. <laughs> that was the worst. You know what? I've got a different plan. Let's start with you. If we get explosion, the guy who comes up and tries to melee us won't matter, because then he'll explode! That seems like a plan. This guy's gonna run off. Why? <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, let's try your friend over here, maybe. Maybe he's not so fat that he'll break all of this. <laughs> Such garbage. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah, you go that way, whatever. I don't care anymore. But then that'll... <sighs> you bounce off that door. This isn't gonna kill anybody! Once I do this, then maybe. May, ooh. And then explode and hit that guy. Yeah! Oh, I got both of them actually! Oh, wait, did you get that guy too? Oh, it didn't. But still. Okay. Okay, so then they'll come down here. I'm gonna try. We're gonna have to use explosion. That kind of seems obvious in retrospect. Just a question of time. Okay, actually. Um, maybe I should just try to do it again. I'm gonna try to do it again. So, transform. Oh, that may not be enough. The other guy's gonna run over here, though. Okay, they're close enough. Explode. Boom! Got one of them. Got one. Oh, there's that guy. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna rise from the dead and explode in your face! Oh, I got her, too. Nice. There we go. Now bite him. Bite him on the everything. There we go. Okay. Maybe we got something here. It seems really obvious now that we had the tutorial, but maybe we should have used explosion. <laughs> seems really, really obvious, but who knows. All right, so now we're going to go down here and try to get these guys. It seems like a plan. And as they're running away, I'll explode on them, I guess. All right, I don't know how to get to the other side, but we'll deal with that later. Oh, does that guy have a gun? Oh, he does. He has a gun. Uh, uh, turn into a th overlord real quick. Uh, 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 and then, um, emulate. Explode, 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 explode. <laughs> no! Yes! We got them anyway. I might have to use that later. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna get through this way, maybe. Uh, we, we, how many do we have to get? We gotta kill 30 humans. It's gonna be a problem. Alright, so let's get through here. Take down this guy. Ooh, Blamzo! So they are over here, but now you're over here. And they're gonna notice. They've all noticed. Oh no! Blam! Yeah, you're gonna try to beat him up this time? No, you're dead. Hey, what's going on? Everybody seems to be exploding. I don't understand. Oh no! Yeah, you think you're, you're gonna try to hit the zombie? Oh, that's a bad choice for you. Now get up before this guy gets shot. Here we go. All. Oh, uh, yeah, blow him up. Every zombie I take over it gives me more points anyway. They're <laughs> like, hey, what's going on over here? Oh no! Looking the wrong way, Mr. Officer. Why were you actually looking away from the door you're supposed to be guarding? That does seem kind of stupid. Uh, 
Okay, so now they're gonna- oh, they're all just down here now. Uh... I'm gonna have to try to- oh, no, I've got the- the pokey power now. Okay, that's fine. Hello. How's it going, guys? You get- you feel like exploding? Okay, so we took down all of team whichever this was. Hooray, so these guys are now just, uh, extra points I need. If I need to infect anybody. Yeah, come down here. Just fall in the hole. Go, go check it out. See what, what's that? Oh no! All right, so now I have the ability to explode. That's a sentence I said. Uh, but we've got to be strategic with our explosions. Where should we go? So down here. Actually, if I do these guys, it gives me another poke. So I guess I'll do that real fast. Right? Or maybe I should save them for late. No, because I won't be able to get them otherwise. No, I can fall down here. Ask for it. Poke that guy. And then explode him. As soon as we touch this. Boink. There we go. Now, explode! There we go. I don't know if there's anything like through this door here, like some secrets. I guess we can find out with you. Well, let's find out if this is explodable. Kablamzo? It is not. Totally pointless. But we got this now. Alright, so we just need another 11 humans. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, if we just take down this bottom floor, and I can leave this team alone and somehow <laughs> they'll be like, so uh, the other team that we were radioing seems to have just vanished somehow. Not gonna question that. Uh, and then also everyone, uh, there's, there's, there's goo everywhere. Don't know what happened. Alright, so how do I get that top floor and the bottom floor? Hmm. You know what I probably should have done is you explode this and have a zombie fall onto that button and then explode and it would give me the ability to poke someone up here. Because right now if they or they're up here they fall they'll probably die or they'll hit this. Is that too far to fall? I don't know. But we're just gonna go infect you and it will make you explode immediately. As soon as this guy comes back in the room. Actually no, I have to do it now because this guy will beat him. Hey, I'm gonna hit you now! No you're not! You're gonna explode, that's what you're gonna do. Oh no. Don't, don't, don't you do it. It's too soon. Okay, and... Come closer. Get in the room. Come on. Get, uh, oh no. No, no, run back in the room. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, I was totally fine! I ruined it! I can fix this. We can fix this. I'll send my zombies skyward. Here we go, zombie time! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Suck it, loser! <laughs> that should not have worked, but it totally did, and a booyah! <laughs> One lone zombie is gonna go save the day. Here we go. You can't get much further over there because it'll explode. Oh no, run away! What is it? Is it a zombie? No, that's stupid. Why would it be a zombie? Oh no, it's a zombie! I do, however, need to uh, get this guy with the gun. So we're gonna have to... Just try this again. Hopefully this will launch some goo in you. Yeah! Oh, perfect! Got them both! Nice. All right. Well, I guess the zombie apocalypse is over. I saw that one's eating left. It's fine. Oh, no! Another zombie! Oh, no. Oh, no for you. Oh, what? Well, hold on. We, we succeeded, but I, I want to get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Kablamzo! Suck it, losers! Yeah! I was looking at the wrong number there. Wait, what happened here? Did someone notice? Oh, that we got through the front door. <laughs> like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to be in the front door! But hey, we did! We, we were awake. I was looking at the number of zombies, not the number of humans we had to take out. So I believe we did that a perfectly. Did we get the side mission? Eh? Failed! Whoops! I, did I attack the wrong side? I think I'm. Um, it's fine. It's pro. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry about it, everybody! It's cool! <laughs> <laughs> this game is great. Let's read this real fast. We get a preview for the next episode. Wow, they're all just running from the background. That's kind of a cool effect. <laughs> I'm just going to be discoing here under this tree, don't mind me. <laughs> Sir, do you have a moment to talk about the zombie apocalypse? Um, I guess I have. Is there anything you need? There's a zombie. Well, actually, uh, occurred in your last anti-criminal mission. What occurred? Well, we're not exactly sure. Some kind of undead-looking people killed everyone that was inside. Everyone was killed and turned into one of them. We lost Team 3-2. That's a lot more information than you should be giving this reporter. I just realized that she's got a boom mic over there. 
Some kind of zombie then? No, I said zombie-like. Maybe. Everyone needs to keep an eye on these people. Try not to get killed. <laughs> okay, God, stop them at all. God. Try not to get killed. Hmm, that's a good bit of advice. As we heard, beware looking these un- uh, Beware of these undead looking people. <laughs> According to the news, I need to try not to die. J just throwing that out there. We, we should- we should attempt- uh, well, let's do this real fast, because I don't know if we can do this tutorial mission next time. <laughs> it's like the stupid- What- what officer just walks up to the reporters like, There were some undead looking people, and uh, it killed everyone and turned them into one of them. Like, are you saying it was a zombie? I mean, it could be, I guess, I don't know. Okay, everybody, try not to die. Got it. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Obviously. That just seems like, like, being alive 101. Try not to die. Oh, you don't say. Hmm, very interesting. I'm glad you gave us this bit of insight. Let's see if we're gonna fall through this now. All right. Try not to die, zombie. Ah, run away! Now bite him. Bite him on the butt. Yeah! So now we have the ability to jump. That's what this is. Just, just, just jump. Jump exclamation point. Whee! Oh no, are they gonna fight back? No, they're not. They're gonna die. Kablit. All right, so now we can turn one of these into an overlord and then give him the jump ability, which actually turns it into a throw ability, and I can pick where to throw them. And you can see if it hits, like, it turns red skull down here, it means that they'll die when they land, but if I throw them, like, here, they're totally fine. So they can actually avoid all of these, uh, boxes. Whee! And away they go! There you go. Split city crossing. I uh, reach the other side of the city and the river and stuff, so I have to be jumping across a bunch of stuff. So, hey, we are gonna call it there. Again, if you guys want to see more of this, please let me know. I I love this game. I'm glad to be back to it. It's so good. This is a good campaign. I, uh, there's a couple levels that are a little bit <laughs> a little weird, but, you know, balancing is not a thing that, you know, user-made stuff tends to have anyway. But it's this is a fun time. I like this a lot. So if you guys are interested in seeing more of this, uh, either later this week or for Strategy Sundays next week, let me know, and we will do the last five levels and complete this journey and have the, the zombies save the city from the criminal underground and, and, and also the police that are trying to protect the city. We'll, we'll take over the city. If everyone's a zombie, then no one's mad about the zombies, right? That's how it works. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. But for now, this has been more Zombie Night Terror. I hope you guys have enjoyed more Strategy Sundays with Zombie Night Terror. Yeah! With our zombie lemming-based nonsense. So good. But uh, hey, if you have any more suggestions for our spooktacular, because we've still got half the month to go, I would genuinely appreciate any suggestions you've got. But for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care! And I will see you next time. Bye!